Initially, when I stepped in this league, I just wanted to be a survivor. I was planning on having a long career. Vince Carter showing you some of the highlight reel. Vince Carter, when he came in, was purely what his nickname is, Vince Sadony. He was as close to unstoppable an offensive force as there was in the game. Some of the things that he accomplished will never be forgotten. One of the greatest players we'll ever see in this game. Vince made the dunk contest something special. His collection of dunks was the best this contest has ever seen. It's over! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, my goodness gracious! It is over! This is unheard of! Do you realize how amazing it is to play in four decades? Because it's... It's unprecedented. This guy is half man, half amazing. And here it's Vince Carter for the highlight reel. Keep the highlight reel rolling. Vince was a pioneer in the sense of basketball in Canada. The growing influence of Canadian basketball players in the NBA goes back to Vince Carter. Vince Carter's going to live forever. Vince Carter! The NBA draft has taken us north of the border. Tonight it's Vancouver, British Columbia, and the home of the Grizzlies. With the fifth pick in the 1998 NBA Draft, the Golden State Warriors select Vince Carter from the University of North Carolina. Anton Jameson and Vince Carter going back to back here in round one with picks four and five. You may take, it, take the head off. Yes, sir. You heard about there may be a trade. You heard that? No. We've announced you two have been traded for each other. Oh, really? I'd like to announce a trade. Toronto has traded the rights to Antoine Jameson to Golden State for the rights to Vince Carter plus cash consideration. In 1998, Canada's relationship with basketball was complicated. The Vancouver Grizzlies and Toronto Raptors were struggling in their infancy. Steve Nash had yet to hit his stride. But just like that, with the swap of a hat, a great basketball love story was born. When we got Vince, it was a little bit more electrified. Seeing the fans grow and learn the game, it was my second year, his rookie year, and you've seen a turnaround. The Cousins connect. Vince Carter was a phenomenon. When he was drafted, he was unlike uh, any athlete that we have ever seen. Is this kid a rookie or what? You gotta be kidding me. He's special. He's gonna put a lot of guys on a poster. Vince was a special talent. I mean, he was like a Jordan, Dominique. He was a special guy. He was on another level. You know, the, the way he would fly through the air, the plays he would make was plays we have never seen before. You never know what Vince was going to do. There's always some highlights, some dunks. He just gave me juice for, for basketball at that time. The air acrobatics of Vince Carter. Oh, my goodness. There's the posterization yes. you talked about. That's going to be on somebody's wall, and that's why the crowd showed up. He came along and brought in some star power and let everybody know that the Raptors were real, and VC was the real deal. Vince Carter. Oh, oh yeah. There was magic in the air here at Toronto. His rookie season was truly Vince Sanity. Teaming with his cousin, Team Mac, Vince earned Rookie of the Year honors and put the NBA on notice that in Toronto, the best was still to come. Vince was the first one to really kind of carry the mantle for Toronto and really try to put the franchise on the map. During his stay in Toronto, the level of the love of basketball among everyone went so high. After one season north of the border, Vince had swept Toronto off its feet. But it was a February night in Oakland that captured the hearts of the basketball world. Let's go home! Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen! Let's go home! Building just exploded. Oh, it's not it's over! It's over, ladies and gentlemen! It was the most amazing display of dunking that I think we'll ever see. Vince was doing things that Michael couldn't do, Dr. J couldn't do, and that's when we knew Vince was really on a different level. This is unheard of! Vince Carter with a spectacular show. He was like the dub names he was getting was like, facts. This guy is half man, half amazing. The NBA dunk champion, Vince Carter, half man, half amazing. Raptors gear was flying off the racks. 
They had national television exposure in America and sold out buildings across the NBA. The Raptors were about to have all eyes on them, but the franchise's first ever playoff berth ended in heartbreak. And T Max's wandering eyes took him home to Orlando. So, Vince stepped up. Here's Carter on the drive. Reverse. Oh, oh, wow. It's the Lamar Carter has got the mud. Carter does it again. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. I didn't see that. I did not just see that. We go into the arenas and there would just be a buzz. And you, you knew what was happening. Everybody was coming to see Vince. It was almost like traveling around with Elvis Presley. I mean, he was the show. He was the next heir apparent. You look at guys like Dr. J, Dominique Wilkins, Michael Jordan. He was looked at as that type of caliber player. Vince and the Raptors took things to the next level. The Toronto Raptors celebrate as they have defeated the New York Knicks to take the series three games to two. After exercising their demons and winning the first playoff series in franchise history, the NBA was treated to two of the league's brightest young stars going head to head. AI and Vince, it was like a heavyweight fight. AI was the answer, Vince was the, he was the man, you know, could dunk from anywhere. Two kind of iconic players at the time. People were just excited to see such great competition and, uh, and see these guys play off each other. He's got 54, the Sixer playoff record for points in a game is now his. Allen Iverson drinking it all in here at the First Union Center. Look up. Here's going to be Carter. 50. And so he, so far, has had an answer for the answer. The biggest game of Vince's career was on deck. But he had another life-altering moment to balance on the very same day. Now that this day is here, I feel better and better about it because it's something I want to do and it's something I want to accomplish on top of the opportunity of playing uh, game seven at the same time. So mentally, I'm prepared for both. I sympathize. I hated that he was even in that situation. Game seven and graduating from college, like, ugh, it's just something you don't want to be in. But I respect how he handled it. The only opinion that mattered was his, his decision. You know, it's something that you can't get back walking across the stage, getting your degree. I probably would've did the same. I probably wouldn't have missed it either. He came, he played, and he competed, and he did what he had to do. I have no ill, Ill will or ill feeling, feelings towards him, Bobby. Carter puts it in. Carter goes right and puts up the ball. Oh, what a shot. It was an emotional series, right? It was a hard fought series, and it comes down to that one shot. Carter trying to get free. Carter at the buzzer. If he made that shot, you would have been talking about, boy, how great Vince was. Man, he was able to go and get his degree. He, got, he came back and hit the game with the shot. Hit the shot. Graduation. Congratulations. Boom, boom, boom. Don't even talk about it. Let's go to the next round. That's all this to it. During the ensuing summer, Vince showed he was committed to the relationship, signing a six-year contract extension. But over the next few years, as injuries mounted, the couple began to drift apart. It happened in relationship. People want to, you know, break up and get back together, but sometimes it's just maybe it's time for him to move on. Hindsight, I think a lot of people would have done things differently to resolve the situation and have it become a, a better one for both parties with Toronto. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. It just kind of spiraled out of control. Breakups are never easy. There's bitterness, feelings get hurt, and always two sides to the story. At the end of the day, the organization has to make their decision and Vince has to make his decision and, um, and see where it goes. Vince went on to have three more all-star appearances in New Jersey. As Father Time caught him, he became more man than amazing. But his ability to adapt led to an historic career. Who will be the hero? Carter in the corner. Got it. Highlight. There you go. There's what I've been waiting for. 
He was probably one of the top three players in the NBA for an eight-year period. Okay. Uh, that's an astonishing Hall of Fame career. While the split with Toronto isn't the ending either side would have wanted, with the passing of time, anger can subside. We just witnessed quite an amazing moment here. Vince Carter has received a standing ovation that has brought tears to his eyes. The impact Vince Carter left behind in Canada is unquestioned. Vince spawned an era of basketball in Canada. Canadian basketball has become not, not only good, it is excellent. You can't take away what he did for like Toronto basketball and how he started bringing a love for basketball um, to the city. Um, and now like you see what it's become. He laid the foundation. His highlights still play every day in Canada. It means a lot to me, you know, to be Canadian and, and come up. He did so much good for this place. Um, it make you feel good. He's the guy that put the city on the map, the country on the, on the map a little bit more. Played in four different decades. An all-star earlier in his career, a mentor late in his career. Do you realize how amazing it is to play in four decades? Because it's, it's unprecedented. With him in the locker room, these young guys had somebody, almost their dad's age probably, that they could listen to, uh, that could tell them when they're right and wrong, and they have a lot of respect for them. Though we knew things were coming to an end, we still weren't ready. But even on his final play, Vince reminded us why we fell in love. Vince Carter, a very popular player, and they're gonna put him on. Yep, not knowing if it might be the last time. Carter for three. Get in there. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> what an appropriate way to finish. For the great Vince Carter. It's kind of not where you start, but it's where you kind of end up. He'll go down as a Hall of Famer. For me, he's the best Raptor to put on a uniform. And, uh, you know, he definitely should have his jersey retired there for the things that he did for that franchise. No other player I've been here been close to what he brought to the team, the city, other kids around. What he did for, for Canada in, the, in general is just is amazing. Vince Carter's going to live forever. You've seen shades of Vince Carter looking like Michael Jordan and Dr. J. Vince Carter brings the crowd alive. He is invincible. Carter with some authority. Thanks for coming out. Half man, half amazing. Vince Carter, obviously one of the all-time greats. Vince Carter, Vince and detonates. Everybody gets to reminisce on that one.